Hi, uh, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how you can do an advanced installation of, of the telemetry tool. Of course, the normal way to install this is, though the easy way is to just take the zip, you unzip it in a directory and then start running the data uh, tool from there. But it might be that you want to install uh, with all your programs into the program files in Windows. So now I'm going to show you how you can do that and it requires a little bit extra work but should be doable with this. So what I've actually done, I've downloaded the uh, 10 point now 10.4 zip and I created under the program files a uh, directory called underscore telemetry but you can just give any name for for that directory. So what I'm doing do now I'm gonna extract all the files from the zip file into the uh, directory under the program files and it will take a little bit while and then the thing is that now when you are if you're unzipping things here what will happen actually the tool will require so the windows security system will require that you uh, give it the right to create the files here so now we have done this so now we have the whole installation inst all the in installation in the program files and under the underscore telemetry i said you could have this as a different different uh, name for the directory and what we need to do now so that it, because if you are running the telemetry here uh, you can actually some of the settings doesn't get saved you see the way windows works is it just lets you save files under here from your programs unless you're running as administrator but you don't want to do that you want to be run it as a normal user so what we need to do now do is that you just go and find the base settings file which is there it was it's included in the dot zip file so what we need to do now is we need to open it and you can edit with notepad also of course you use you can use notepad to plus plus but you open the uh, base settings with notepad and you can see that this is the file which contains the very basic settings for the tool which will it will read it first when it starts up so that you know what what needs to be done and you can see that there are a few options for the data there so that means for the di data directory so where the data resides and the options are actually jar location this is the default so all the directories will be created under the place where you have the where you unzip it the whole thing you could also put there as a user there uh, so user directory that will create a directory under the user uh, directory where the data will reside or you can use the path and that's exactly what we are going to do here now so we'll put I'm writing here path and then you have to put the exclamation mark and then we put the path here which is I'm doing this like this uh, it'll be C and bin and then I have a telemetry this is a you can put this anywhere this directory will reside on different uh, disk or wherever you, in your system or where you want to have the data so this and what this will what will happen when this tool starts it will create this directory on on, on your system if it doesn't exist so I'm saving this file so we are happy and then actually there's some things you could also turn off the logging if there's some issues on, on startup but then if you really want to use the data uh, replies you could apl apply this or enable this uh, write server debug and then it will create a debug file but now actually the key thing is here is that you put here the on the data deer you put here the path exclamation mark and the path I could also use the uh, user deer so then you save save the file then we are happy and then we start let's take Stiga uh, 2021 so now the tool will start and it'll take a while so it starts okay now it starts and what we can see I actually put here you can see it created all the uh, directories here and then approximately for lap data so it created all the directories here so now all the data will be residing on this directory and then if you go here on the telemetry uh, so you can press ctrl i so for information and you can see that the the actual jar so the file program files are see, look at here but then all the database settings, everything uh, is is on the other one, which we said. And this is quite easy way to uh, install the telemetry tool so that it works a little bit like a normal Windows program. And yeah, I know I should do an insta installer for this, and I might do that at some point later uh, when I got into that. But this is a very simple way of getting the installation going, and you will learn a little bit how it works. But but this is a simple way of doing more advanced installation and. I hope you enjoyed this and if you have any questions type your questions on the on the chat or come to race department and let me know okay thanks bye